Hi, this is Kathy Mason from MasonWorks, and I'm really excited. I'm here today with Karen Radin, and Karen's been kind enough to tell us a little bit about herself and about her experiences with Bill Farber so that you can understand um, why we're hoping that you can come to his event here in Boulder in October. So Karen, how are you? Thank you for doing this today with me. My pleasure, thank you. It's wonderful to be here with you today, Kathy. Yeah, so Karen, tell us a little bit about yourself, about what you do and, and uh, about your life. Sure, sure. So I am a registered dietitian. Um, I have my master's in naturopathic nutrition from Bastyr, and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist. So basically I pull together nutrition for people in a lot of different ways. And I'm a mother of two. Um, I've got a seven-year-old and a 12-year-old, and they keep me very busy along with my private practice, um, where I consult with individuals and companies. And, you know, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here talking about Bill Farber, because Bill Farber had a lot to do with my career path, actually, and um, the person that I am today, a significant role in that. Wonderful. So, so what happened? How did, how did that happen? Yeah, well, serendipity, but um, it was about 15 to 20 years ago, I met Bill. I was working at a wellness center. I had kind of restarted my life, um, wanting to start over, and I met Bill working. I was at the wellness center, and Bill was coming in doing Reiki with people. I'd never heard of Reiki, and I was really intrigued, and when I just saw him, his energy truly it like blew me away. I can't explain it. It was such a powerful heart connection that I had with him. And through the years, I um, actually trained with him. He taught me Reiki. I became a Reiki master. And throughout these years, he also was doing Reiki sessions on me. And I can tell you that my energy changed dramatically over those years. I had come from a place of, of I would call kind of dark, um, you know, dealt with some depression and anxiety issues. And through my work with Bill and then becoming a Reiki master, um, there was so much healing. I, I'm not the same person that I was when I first met Bill about 15 years ago. And I really accredit a lot of that to the energy work that he has done with me and then has shared with me how I can use that energy for myself. Right, right. So, yeah, he's really, I, I love how he teaches everyone how to be empowered. I mean, the, the, the real gig now is self-empowerment. So. Yes, yes. And I didn't, you know, I didn't really even know much about energy work before I met him. Really? So I came from a very left brain way. And that was the other thing that drew me to him because of him being, you know, a lawyer by day and Reiki master healer at night. <laughs> uh, that was part of what allowed me on some level, I came from a very conventional background and seeing that he was so in the world and then also had this other side. It was very non-threatening to me. Um, and I and I knew it wasn't like I was going to spin off into the cloud somewhere. Right. And I, it just, that really worked for me. And I know it's worked for a lot of the patients that I've referred him to over the years. I, I really like working collaboratively. So they see me, people will see me for more of the science-based, objective, functional medicine work that I do with an emotional, spiritual bent. But then I'll send people to Bill to work on more of that healing work where they can't really put words to it. And a lot of people who are suffering from depression or eating disorders or just emotional issues around food, um, Bill has a very non-threatening way, as I know you know, um, of knowing him, of just helping people to release that, that negative energy without having to talk about it. Right. What, what's so cool about him, I think a lot of the work that I've done, there's no story, yeah. there's no emotion, there's no judgment at all. I mean, he, he's just so clear. And then um, what I, I wanted to share is that last year when he was here, um, he did two free events, one down in Denver and one in Boulder. And then uh, he did two day uh, uh, workshop like he's doing again this year. And last year, the first day, the room went into Samadhi. I mean, usually that takes a building of a lot of time. But um, it was amazing. There were like 45 people in there, and we were just blissed out. And it stayed. It, it wasn't like so many of the people that you go to, you get this great blast, and then you pay later. It's almost pay, you know, you, you have consequences for it. Yeah. This is just this alignment with yourself. 
yeah. that isn't always available. It just, I don't know how else to explain it. It's so unique. And knowing Bill for the last, you know, 15 plus years, I can tell you that over the years when I know I'm going through something, I'll give him a call and be like, Bill, I really need a tune up. And then something will change within me that then allows me to be in the world in a different way. Yeah. And I will never forget some of the true actually group sessions that I've had with him where he helped to release some very dark energy in me that years and years of therapy would not have done. I, I mean, I, I, I cannot, it was such a physiological experience, yeah. it, but also gentle. Like it wasn't scary to me. It wasn't, it just was gone. And um, I truly am a different person today because of Bill. And wow. I'm in a space of light and love and wanting to share that with the world. And so much of that is because of his energy. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And I look forward to learning more about what your work is. And um, thank you for spending your time today to help us get the word out about why everyone should do their best to at least experience, Bill, even if it's just for the free event, that they really need to know what this is about and gift it to themselves to, to live a happier life now. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, I agree. Right. Well, thank you, Karen. And I'll talk to you, I hope, soon. I yes. Hope thank you, Kathy. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.